Hi guys, so it's been a fair while since I've done a walk around to the shop and there's always a lot of things changing in here so we're going to do another one. This might take a wee while, you may get fed up hearing my voice but let's see what we can do. So, it's night time, shutters are down so no interruptions. So got this really cool Kong poster hanging up. When you walk in you'll see some folders, some Stranger Things, some Pokemon stuff. And amazingly, some prime squishy bottles, key rings, hats. Uh, we've got a kind of, what well, kind of cheaper stuff here? Stickers, cards, super things. Uh, and this is where hopefully you give us all your money. What's a Pokemon? We've got some jewellery, some beautiful animal pockets, some we shelled and we. IPS screen modded Game Boys. Got some nice Pokemon cards, these are some of the big hitters. And we've got a folder in here that's got all our good cards, so anything above £20 in there. We've also got a lot of cards away getting graded just now, some of the higher end stuff. Pokemon cards, UK, Japanese, a couple of folders to look through. Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic the Gathering, so this, the counter's basically full of trading cards. Got some Harry Potter ones, some Marvel replica costume jewellery, and up here, more Pokemon stuff. And we've got some nice Marvel Legends, Chucky keeping an eye on me, some high-end Star Wars statues and stuff. Got a replica WWE belt, some nice Warner Brothers stuff up there as well, and a bunch of really nice hot toys, and a couple of awesome big Transformers, we've got Scorpion Hawk and Omega Supreme up there. We've got a fridge, nice during the summertime. We're quite well stocked up on sweets and drinks just now, as hopefully you'll see. Chocolate bar named after myself. And if I just step back here. Kids go mad for all these kind of sour spray things, the lollipops and stuff here as well. I've got some Halo and Batman, Millennium Falcon, some random stuff. Some nice Australian chocolate, some Japanese stuff, more squishy stuff, some nice lollipops, American theatre boxes, some more drinks and stuff. Done that one already. This is the side I've not done. These are amazing, these Danny's chocolate bars. They're really, really good. Most popular thing in the shop, these wee chewy sour sweets. And we'll get Superman and the other side of the Falcon. And the last part of the sweets and stuff we've got. These are probably the spiciest crisp I've ever had. They're amazing, but they're painful. Not a fan of pickles, but other people seem to be. Some moon pies, wonderful time to be alive. And some more silver chewy stuff. These cow tails, they're really nice as well. Quite a decent selection of tacky stuff in just now. Some lays. The blue tackies that are popular, you can get tackies Pringles in. Some nice hairs and the hot chip challenge and some fancy mac and cheese. So we've got the arcade here as well, it's obviously switched off just now because the shop's closed. Uh, and we've got Nintendo Switch, we've got some nice special editions, Wii U, miscellaneous stuff like Evercade, Neo Geo Pocket, lots of guidebooks, Atari 2600. Please excuse the mess, it's been a busy couple of days in the shop. PlayStation Vita, I've got tons of PS2, 
Nintendo Wii. Some PlayStation 3 stuff. And down the bottom we've got more Atari, we've got PC, Atari ST, Amiga, ColecoVision, Intellivision, lots and lots of stuff. Some PlayStation 4 and 5. The scary thing about the bottom shelf is it's about four or five layers deep so it just keeps on going. And we've got Xbox 360. And we've got the original Xbox as well. And in the wee cabinet we've got some of the Pokemon games. Silly prices for them. Loose card Pokemon. We've got Southern Isles Pokemon folder with the 18 card set in it. And some odds and sods from Japan. So, over this way, we've got a nice wee keyring and badge display stand. We've got a house from Home Alone. A couple of Game Boys. We've got the big Transformers. I think that's first for figures. That's the box for it, and this is it out of the box. A really nice crow statue. Unfortunately the crow itself has had one of its legs chopped off. Old Jurassic Park figure. A Stranger Things house. Really, really nice Captain America watch in there as well. Loads of handhelds and stuff in here. I've got a Commodore 64 made out of Lego. Some of the stuff is facing out because this is at the window. We've got a couple of FM Towns games in there, Tatsujin O and Awesome, which is um, not far off £2,000 for the two of them. Got some nice gaming watches and stuff in there as well. And now we're on to all the figures and stuff. So the shop does go quite high these days. If you're ever in and you want to see anything down, just let us know. I'll have a wee quick scan through it all. Got in these beautiful Lilo and Stitch plushies, they're really nice. A six scale figure of John Wayne that you didn't know you wanted. Shen Moon and Resident Evil. Transformers, some big DC figures. And Marvel. I'll try to zoom back here actually because there's not a lot of it, that's better. So these are usually got four, five, six things on each hanging thing, so plenty to browse through. Some of the McFarlane DC multiverse stuff's absolutely beautiful as well. Even got some old Battlestar Galactica, Halo, Batman stuff. Play Castlevania, Marvel Select figures. Man. Lots of turtle stuff coming out just now because the new film is due out pretty soon. I'll try and stop that up. And here we've got loads and loads of Lord of the Rings stuff, some pretty old stuff here as well. There's a really nice Kratos there. Loads of the Lord of the Rings stuff. Some Transformers bits. Got a lot of unbox figures as well. And this corner's a wee bit of everything. We've got some Tomb Raider, Captain Scarlet of all things. We've got a nice Gears of War set. More Lord of the Rings. And here starts the kind of horror section. So that's difficult to tell from this, but that's a full size one to one scale Chucky up there. And this is a 50 inch. Pennywise, and it is freaky as hell. These things that look tiny, they're 18 inch. So, we've got big Freddy Kruegers, Jason, Pinhead, Eric Draven, even got the bride from Kill Bill. Lots of stuff in here for Aliens Predator, a lot of Necker stuff, some really nice Spawn McFarlane figures. Some Godzilla and Kong, 
through Game of Thrones, Funko Pops. A couple of bits from The Last of Us. And down here we've got some living dead dolls. Hey, what way am I going? We'll go back here. So, again, some more Necker stuff here, lots of Back to the Future. There's Jack Skellington, some old and very expensive gremlins. Yeah, 230 pound each, but they're really hard to get. Some really nice Fortnite figures. I know Fortnite's not as popular as it used to be, but the figures are nice. And I've got a wee wrestling section here. It's got some quite nice stuff in it. So I'm getting quite a lot of glare here, despite the time of night. So this whole bit is just full of wrestling stuff. And these are really nice. I'll just zoom in again a wee bit. So all McFarlane multiverse stuff, but all at really good prices. So, for example, this big massive set retails at 125, but we've got it at 80. It's really nice. Most of these are 10 or 12 pound. And the quality of the figures is outstanding. And you've even got Batman and Joker wearing their swimming shorts. I've not read this comic yet, but the Joker gets turned into a massive dragon, apparently. Interesting design. Back to some more horror stuff. These are old McFarlane movie maniacs and stuff. Mixed in with some of the new stuff that's coming out, like Toonie Terrors. There's a Terrifier, House of a Thousand Corpses. Right underneath that, well, we've got some strange Simpsons books and stuff. More nice NECA figures. A few masks left over. And some big chuckies. These are 18 inch and Pennywise. And here, a quick spin round to make you dizzy. Some Game of Thrones stuff. Some random nice mugs and stuff. We'll be stocking up on these big time pretty soon because Christmas isn't as far away as it should be. Uh, we've got a nice board game selection which I think Jim's actually sorted into alphabetical order for a lot of it. The Bloodborns and Dark Souls ones look amazing. Got quite a lot of them in just now. And we've got Dungeons and Dragons, Warhammer, loads of books in just now as well. So, well worth a browse if that's your kind of thing. Right. Now we're starting to get into the console stuff, so this bit is mainly Sony. Bits with some well, Sony and Nintendo as it goes further along, so a bit of a mix. So I've got some nice Wii U amiibos with the games, got some switches, Wii U's, different game cubes. I've got some here, I've got six of these in, they're actually brand new, they just came out of a shipping box, the Super Nintendo fighting sticks. Got a few Nintendo 64s. This one has never actually been used. Got the GameCube, Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo Mini, Wii's, miscellaneous bits and bobs, original Nintendos. So I'll go around all the consoles just now and then we'll show you other stuff. This, these shelves are mainly unboxed consoles. Quite well stocked up. We've got a lot of 360s, Xbox Ones, PlayStation 2, 3, and 4, Super Nintendo, N64s. We've got PlayStation 3s, including fully backwards compatible ones. This is quite cool, the afterburner. Quite hard to get. Vectrex, Neo Geo X, an unboxed Vectrex. 
Mega CD 2 and Mega Drive 2. Some loose Mega Drives. I've got three original PlayStation. I've got an S. Some Game Cubes. Some Vectrex games. Kind of bit of a mix here. And here we've got Atari Flashback, Strange PSP ripoff machine, nice Mega Drive, Microvision with every game that came out on it, all seven of them, I think. Binatone, you need to be of my kind of used to remember these kind of terrible things. An MSX, video pack, video computer. Got Amigas, C64 Micros, GX 4000, Fairchild Channel F, Atari 2600s, we've got some IMAX and a really, really nice Archimedes monitor, Atari STE, Spectrum 7800, a video pack loose, an Astronic, Spectrums, MSX, VR headset and the various other with an STFM Atari 600, Commodore Plus 4 with an Amstrad monitor down there that's never been out of the box and I think here got a nice boxed G7000 we've even got a Sanyo Walkman type thing Commodore disk drives These are Japanese consoles, these ones here, so that's why you probably don't recognise them, they're just out in Japan. This is back to UK again, we've got some Xbox stuff. Really nice Dreamcast pack there mixed in. So we've got the CDs S box and we've got the CDs X as well. A nice Mega CD too. Nice condition Mega Drive there. Same with the Mega Drive too. Saturn Virtua Shotgun Gun and Virtua Stick. Dreamcast Arcade Stick, Saturn Guns, Sega Saturn Consoles, a couple of Master Systems. And here we start moving on to mainly Japanese consoles. In 64, it's a Cha Cha Amigo add on. It's like the Samba Maracas, obviously. We've got a wee Jaguar sneaking in there. So here we've got Sharp Twin Famicom, which is a Famicom and Famicom disk system combined. Some Japanese GameCubes, some gold Japanese controllers, Super Nintendo Fight Sticks, Japanese Wii. Got a nice clear blue Japanese console, plenty of Mario paints if you need them, loads of Super Famicom consoles in stock, got a red N64, Pikachu N64, some weird dance mats and stuff there, got some unboxed Famicoms and Super Famicoms and disk drive systems, and we've got some more Japanese Sony consoles here. Get some nice limited edition PlayStation 3s. There's a Final Fantasy PS2. Let's see what we've got here. Right. Top bit's missing off the box for that, but it's an SG1002 Sega. There's a boxed one there. Japanese Saturn Virtua Stick was way better than the UK one. Right, we've got some nice Dreamcast in here, including the R7. So, quite well stocked up just now. These are all limited edition games, quite big boxes with various bits and bobs in them. 
some guide books and a few consoles down there that just don't quite fit on the shelves just now. More Japanese guide books. Some nice consoles. We just got about four or five Sega Saturns in last week to give us some stock as well. Those are the Biohazard 5th Anniversary box set and a big metal briefcase, it's beautiful. We've got a Super Graphics, Apple Pippin, some more guidebooks and Japanese magazines. We've got the cassette version, we've got the nice Turbo Express, MSX, PCFX. Bandai Playdia, Bandai RX78, PC Engine Duo R, a cassette version again, Casio Lupe, some games down the bottom for like PC90, FM Towns, a bit more obscure. We've got an unbox Neo Geo set up here. We've got a silver PSX, which is really rare. Japanese 360 if you want to play your shoot 'em ups. Zavix port. Two of the Pioneer MSX and a Pioneer Laser Active, which are very hard to get hold of. And here we've actually got a few American consoles. We've got an N64, we've got a Dreamcast, we've got the original Xbox, which is brand new. Well, the box has been in the sun. We've got a brand new American Wii. Some of the Namco gun games, again, they're all brand new. A couple of GameCubes. Got two brand new and still sealed Slim PS2s, American. Most GameCube. And here we've got some extra controllers and stuff. And some big box special edition games. These take up a lot of space. They're amazing. So that's just about at the end of the console stuff. We've got this is really cool. We've got a replica arcade machine, but it's a display for Stranger Things stuff. So we've got a shelf full of HD DVDs if somebody wants to help us out and buy all of them. We've got laser discs at the bottom, some Neo Geo AES games, and then we start to go into figures and stuff so what I'm going to do I'm going to walk down to the shelves where I stop down here which would probably be here yeah so oh again there's more of the really big box stuff up high this is more Marvel and DC Funko Pops and figures and stuff like that in here as you can see You've got five deeper Funko Pops in here, I'm flooded with them. A few Nerf guns. That's actually a Space Invaders pair of Vans trainers up there. I think they'll need 150 pairs of them. And this is our kind of main Funko Pop. But again, these are like four and five deep, so there's tons of stuff in there. Takes a good rummage to find out everything that's in there. So again, some really nice Warner Brothers stuff. Thunderbirds, Millennium Falcon, Enterprise. A couple of special edition games in there as well. This really needs a tidy up. This is the kind of Star Wars, but it always gets a good rummage and some Star Trek stuff in there as well to annoy people that don't think they should go together. Some more mass up there. Some big figures as well. Some nice Street Fighter stuff. Loads of anime figures again. As you can see here, these can be seen four deep as well. So, loads of stuff. This shelf here is mainly Demon Slayer and My Hero Academia. Probably a few other bits. We've got loads more stuff coming over soon as well. And in this bit here is probably more Dragon Ball, Sailor Moon, stuff like that. Naruto, 
we don't have a lot for that just now and some death note stuff and here beside hang and carbonite we've got our poster section so we've got 48 posters in here just like you see everywhere else where we dump bin full of stuff we've got the terminator i've watched over yet some graphic novels Got a hot toys of six scale Batmobile up there, the Tumblr, some big figures, Final Fantasy stuff, a rather growing comic section that we'll need to look at expanding at some point. More graphic novels here. That's really cool. That's the original quad poster from Escape from New York for the cinema. We've got a double sign Stanley. Cool certificate and all that Hulk poster. Got a cool wee thing out here where we set some consoles up and we change them over. We've got a Mega Drive and a PlayStation 1 set up just now. Yeah, loads of lounge fly bags. Big figures again. More lounge fly. Got some bag controllers, some wallets and purses. And on this table just now. We usually clear this if we've got any pub birthday parties in for the kids to get their food, but it's got boxes full of plushies just now. And we've got more glass cabinets here. Got some really nice statues and stuff in there. Some nice amiibos. There's great ice hockey in the Japanese Master System, the various game on it. So it's always worth a wee look in here, we try and change them over as keep it fresh. There's a nice six scale xenomorph from Aliens there. Right, we're getting there, nearly done. So we'll just do this bit really quickly. So we've got all our Japanese games mainly in the middle. So we've got PlayStation 2. We've got Two boxes of PlayStation Vita, loads of PS1, Sega Saturn, Dreamcast, PC Engine, GameCube, that's American Super Nintendo games. This box is a mess, but it's all Japanese PS4 and Switch games. Got Famicom, Super Famicom, underneath we've got tons of stuff as well, like Neo Geo CDs, Loose Carts, PS3, Xbox 360. Got more Super Famicom and loose carts underneath. Randomly, we've got a. I don't know why this is under here. Beware the Demogorgon. Doormat from Stranger Things. Japanese Nintendo 64, Mega Drive. We've got weird stuff like Wonder Swan, Game Gear, Game Boy, uh, Sega Mark III, Virtual Boy. Loads of stuff underneath as well. Game Boy and DS, more PC Engine, Dreamcast, Saturn, most Game Boy stuff, and more PS2. Here we've got some more controllers, guarded by a nice friendly Xenomorph. And I think all I've got left to show just now is the kind of UK gaming section, so NES games, boxed and loose, loose N64, we've got Game Boy and Game Boy Advance in these two boxes, we've got DS and 3DS in these, loads of loose carts in here, again, tons of stuff underneath, PlayStation, we've got Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, again, a mess here. SNES loose carts, N64 loose carts, Mega Drive, Master System. We've got loads of GameCube games in just now. Overflow of PlayStation stuff. Skylanders, Disney Infinity. I should really have tidied this box up before this video. This is all PlayStation 1 games. Game Gear. Some loose Game Gear. These two boxes are all Sega Saturn games. 
big box of Dreamcast, we've got Mega CD and Neo Geo CD and stuff like that. Um, some extra bits here. Master System and Mega Drive. And I think that's about it. I'm not even going to attempt to show you upstairs because it would scare the life out of you. It's a bit of a mess. But there we go. If you can't make it in very often, just to keep you up to date with what's happening. And thank you for your time and attention.